carrying on now, Luke chapter 1. I don't know how she would feel about that. Such a demanding task, such an unbelievable thing to be asked to do. To even to imagine that she might have to care for a royal baby, let alone to be told that she's going to be the mother of God's son. I don't know how you'd feel. Such responsibility, absolutely. Would you be scared that you might mess it up? Would you be worried about the, res the, the care you'd have to take? I don't know how you feel when you get given a task that sometimes feel beyond your capabilities. When you're asked to achieve or do things that you don't think might be possible or be within your power or capability. It can be quite stalling. You can feel overwhelmed by the responsibility you have. You can feel like it's not possible. But we know that when God asks us to do something, not when we've cooked it up for ourselves and decided what we want to do, but when truly God asks us to do something, that he gives us the strength to do it. And he gives us the tools we need and the ability to withstand any challenges that come our way. So I don't know whether you've ever experienced the feeling of God asking you to do something or feeling like you ought to do something, that, that urge within you, in your heart, that you know that it's the right thing to do. And you're not sure quite how it might work. But you know that if you push out in faith that God will support you, give you the strength you need. Shelley and I were, had an amazing opportunity to go and work for a charity in Lytham to work in a bookshop and coffee shop and hopefully develop um, a new worshipping community, a fresh expression of church in that place. When we turned up we didn't know how that would happen. We just got busy organising books and making coffee and cakes. We didn't know how we were going to afford to live on a small wage that we were getting because the charity didn't have much money and so we, we didn't know how quite how we were going to survive whether our house was going to rent out whether we'd have to sell it what we were going to do but we believed it was what god called us to do so we stepped out and it was amazing the the miracles that occurred from living one day to the next hand to mouth to the money in the tip jar being enough to buy us dinner to the generosity of people to allow us uh, the time uh, to develop something that was lasting in terms of the church community there we didn't have the answers we didn't have the strength in ourselves but we knew with god's help something could happen so going back to think about Mary. She would have known this task was immense, that she was being asked to join this royal household, the household of David, who was one of her ancestors, but maybe she didn't feel particularly royal. But this responsibility of taking on, bearing God's son. As you face difficult things over the coming week, will you reach out to God for help? Will you be able to do things you didn't think were possible because you rely on the strength of God and those around you rather than trying to do it on your own? Let's pray. Father of all, you tasked Mary with the greatest task on earth. You trusted her to carry out your precious mission and never fail along the way. We feel so humbled as we journey with Mary and are reminded that we each have our own missions for you. As we journey, we ask for your reassurance and strength. Amen. So bless you. I pray that you have a peaceful rest of your day. I'll be back tomorrow with another midday reflection. On Fridays and Saturdays, they might be recorded or live. 
Um, so uh, just depending on how things work, because I normally have a day off, but I'm, I'm working today.